Hi, I'm Mike Stoltz with Wellhead Systems, and there's a lot of questions as to what identifies an independent wellhead from a conventional wellhead. Um, the main identifier is its threaded connections on the top and the bottom. Um, with that type of a connection, we're limited on our maximum slip load capacities. Um, in this case here, we have a Model 92 8 and 5 8 by 5 and a half casing head on the bottom to work with. Now what's going to happen is we can only go to 176,000 pounds. That's the max rating on a Model 92 8 and 5 8 by 5 and a half. So on that head, we can only hang, say, per se, we're going to hang 100,000 five and a half inch. So we got 100,000 pounds there. And then the Model R tubing head we have on top here is rated to 85,000 max slip load. We can't add 85,000 to that 100,000 because now we're over the 176,000. So we can only go up to 176,000 pounds with your tubing and your long string combined to your eight and five eighths. And then on the conventional flanged head, everything on the conventional flanged head is always getting transferred over to your conductor pipe. Your conductor pipe is cemented in the surface just as it is on an independent one. But in this case, all of your flanges transfer the weight back over to your conductor pipe. So inside of here, we can go ahead and hang a, a seven inch long string and it can be 175,000 pounds because a C22 hanger in there will handle 200,000. Then we're going to have your tubing load on top of that and in that case you can go ahead and, and you can put another 100,000 and because that weight is going to be transferred back over to your outside flange to your conductor pipe. That's the reason on a conventional flange you can do a lot higher slip load capacities versus an independent. There's one other thing that we do with wellhead systems that is different uh, than the rest of the industry. We do put a tag on it that gives you a lot of identification and a lot of information. So in this case here on the Model R, the first line is going to tell us it's a Model R or it could be a Model K or a Model SW. Um, it'll, it'll identify your model. The next line on it is going to give us our bottom connection. In this case here, it's a five and a half inch OD8 round female. The next line on the tag identifies the top thread. So if you're down the road, you need to get a workover rig on it, and you need to get your drilling flange to put your 7 seven and sixteenth BOP on it, it'll tell you right there that you need to go ahead and find yourself a, a eight and five eighths OD8 round modified thread for your top connection to put your BOP on. Um, the next thing is we identify the working pressure. On this case here is a 2000, the Model R comes in a 2000 or 3000, so it'll identify that. And your other information up here does stay the same as far as your, your threaded connections. The last thing we do is we put a, a serial number on there so you have identification tracking on it and uh, we can fulfill you with any kind of search you may need on that. Well, thank you for your time and uh, we are also available for in-person training um, upon request. Um, either this type of a product line, our wellhead line, or any of our other product lines. Um, also look and subscribe for us on the YouTube channel. And once again, work smart, stay safe, and make your connection with WSI.